Uh, welcome to section 6.2, day two, solving systems of equations by substitution. So we're going to write to word problems today. You sold two different types of wrapping paper for your band fundraiser. One type sold for six bucks a roll and the other for eight dollars a roll. You collected a total of $92 for the 14 rolls you sold. How many of each type did you sell? With this problem, um, we're looking at Two different things we're doing. We're doing two different types of wrapping paper. This type of word problem, we're going to be setting up a standard form equation. And one of those equations is going to talk about money. The other one's going to be talking about total. This is very common. So we have one type sold for six bucks a roll and the other for eight dollars a roll. So I'm going to say that X is my six dollar roll. Y is my eight dollar roll. We have two equations we need to set up. One is for the total amount of money we're bringing in, and one is talking about the number sold. So we have to look at the $6 rolls, six times how many rolls we sold, plus eight times how many rolls of those we sold has to equal our total money. The second equation is just the number of rolls we sold. Number of $6 rolls plus the number of $8 rolls has to add up to 14. From here, we just have to figure out which one we want to solve for. Do we want to solve for X or for Y? It's your preference. Um, everyone has their own. Uh, for this one, I like using smaller numbers, so I'm going to solve for X. We're going to subtract Y, and we get X equals negative Y plus 14. We're going to plug this into the top. So we have 6. We have negative Y plus 14 plus 8Y has to add up to $92. We have negative 6y plus 84 plus 8y has to equal 92. We're going to subtract 84 from both sides. We are going to combine our like terms. We have negative 6y and 8y, so this is 2y, and it equals $8. Divide by 2. And we get y is 4. So we have four $8 rolls. Well, if we have four $8 rolls, if we plug four back into the this, we have x is negative 4 plus 14, which is 10. So we'd have to sell 10 $6 rolls. And 10 plus 4 is 14. And if you plug these in, you will find that they work. So we have sold four $8 rolls and 10 $6 rolls of wrapping paper. Remember when you do these word problems to declare your variables. Same idea with this word problem. We paid $31 to ship eight packages. The shipping for each small package was $350. The shipping for large packages was 5 bucks. How many of each type did you ship? Again, we need to declare variables. I'm going to say x is small. I'm going to use y is large. You can call them what you want. So we know one thing. We, show, we shipped eight packages. So x plus y has to add up to eight. We know the cost was $350 for a small plus $5 for the larges, and adds up to $31 total. So now again, we decide which one we want to, oh, I forgot my X. Now we need to figure out which one we want to uh, solve for. Do we want to solve for X or for Y for our substitution? Again, it's up to you which one you want to do. I will use, since I used X on the last one, I'll use it for Y this time. So we're going to move, we're going to subtract X from both sides and we get y is negative x plus 8. And we are going to plug this into the bottom equation. So now we have 3.5x plus 5, negative x plus 8 equals 31. We get 3.5x minus 5x 5 times negative x, and then 5 times 8 is plus 40, equals 31. We subtract 40. So 3.5x minus 5x is negative 1.5x. 
and this has to add up to negative 9. Divide it out. And when you divide negative 9 by negative 1.5, you're going to find that x is 6. So we have 6 smalls. And if we put 6 into our original, we have negative 6 plus 8, which is 2 large. And yes, you do need to plug it in like this. And we get y is 2 large packages. And if you want to make sure it works, 6 plus 2 does equal 8. If we plug in 6 times 3.5, you do get $21 plus $10, which is 31. Again, make sure you declare your variables when you do these. All right, so just like when we did graphing in 6.1, when we do substitution, we will find that we will have systems with infinitely many or no solutions. So we've done this before with different things already. And again, if your variables cancel themselves out, but the statement that remains is true, you have infinitely many solutions. So if we do substitution here, and I say that y, I'm going to move my x over, is going to be negative x plus 5. And I plug this into the bottom equation. I get 2x plus 2 negative x plus 5 equals 10. And I get this. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. 2 times 5 is 10. And when I solve this, 2x minus 2x goes away, and I'm just left with 10 equals 10. This is infinite solutions. And what happens if you would graph these, they are the same line. So we have infinite solutions. Variable goes away, true statement, infinite solutions. If your variables cancel themselves out, but the statement that remains is false, you have no solution. So this one, I'm going to solve for x this time. So x is, you subtract y, you get 15 minus y. So then we have 2... 15 minus y plus 2y equals 10. And when you solve this, you distribute the 2 completely. And we get the negative 2y plus 2y cancels out, going to 0, and we get 30 equals 10. That's a false statement. That means there is no solution. And what would happen is if you graph these, these are parallel lines. That's why there's no solution. They will never cross. So when we do substitution, just like with graphing, we can get infinitely many solutions if it's the same line or no solution, which means they're parallel lines. So if your variables go away and it's true, infinite solutions, variable goes away and it's false, no solution. That is all for section 6.2 day two, solving systems by substitution. Today we added that you could have infinitely many solutions or no solutions, and we also looked at word problems. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.